Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, we're going to learn a little bit about how to um, fix uh, CSS styling issues, um, repairing your website, uh, using some of the uh, tools provided uh, in Firefox and Chrome. Um, Firefox has a really cool plugin called Firebug. I, I use it quite often as a uh, web designer. Uh, Firebug, when you download it and install it into your Firefox, is a plugin which I'll provide a link uh, in the description uh, to download Firebug. It'll look uh, like this where there's a little bug in your uh, in your um, uh, navigation bar up here. Go ahead and click on it. Um, this uh, site you're looking at right now is a uh, just a test site I've built. Um, it's it's really simple. It's just got some test content here with a uh, div tag that wraps around the content with a uh, semi-transparent background to the div tag and a fixed uh, page position which is uh, gives it a cool effect when you scroll the background image stays static. If if you want to learn how to do that just uh, go ahead and uh, click through to my channel and um, I believe the video is labeled uh, fix uh, CSS background. Okay so um, this is what Firebug looks like as you can see it's pulled up uh, to the left is the HTML to the right is the CSS uh, that is controlling the HTML um, to the left, uh, you'll see when I hover over the div tag, it uh, highlights the padding um, of the div tag in purple, and then the content is in blue. Um, so as you can see here, uh, you can actually click inside these boxes and make real edits. So let's say you want to see what the background would look like black. You can look at it in real time without having to go from, you know, let's say Dreamweaver to over to FileZilla, upload the files. Um, it can become very time consuming. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just change it back to white. Um, so let's say, let's see, I want to see the wrapper at 400 pixels. So as you can see, it's shortened to 400 pixels. Maybe let's go back to 800. Um, say I want to see uh, more padding in the uh, top here. Uh, or excuse me, that was to the right. Um, so let's say I want to see more padding on the top. Yeah. So, I, so you can see the content scooted down there. Um, this tool is really helpful if you're developing uh, because of, let's say you have a really sophisticated template, um, but you want to edit that template uh, or theme, uh, and uh, you want to you know, do it quickly. You don't want to have to uh, pull it into Dreamweaver and then track all of the uh, related files that are attached, let's say the index page or whatever file you're editing. This is really cool because it indicates uh, where the style is coming from so you can actually see that this style is coming from the style sheet and if you hover over it you can see the exact absolute path to that file so um, if you click on it you can actually see the entire uh, file here um, this is a uh, firebug uh, which you know you have to download as a plugin but what's cool is uh, Chrome come, uh, comes natively with a uh, similar style you know kind of plugin um, you don't need to download anything. So if you're using Google Chrome, just right click and click on inspect element. I mean, it looks the exact same as uh, Firebug. You know, you click on this little uh, magnifying glass. I'm going to click on this. Um, and uh, looks like I was actually just editing it because it's set to a thousand pixels. But look, you can do the exact same thing you were doing in Firebug here. Um, and, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in Chrome. Uh, you can edit it however you'd like. Um, so, let's see here. Yeah, this has uh, got an opacity of 60%. Let's change it to 90. As you can see, it gets, as I change the opacity to 90%, only 10% of, um, uh, of uh, transparency is coming through. So, let's say I want to make it really transparent. Set it to 10%, you can barely see it. So, this is really cool. As you can see, you can uh, make these live time edits and um, uh, again, you know, with uh, this this uh, Chrome, um, you can see it. I mean, it looks exactly like Firebug. You can hover your mouse over it to do the absolute path. You can click on it; it will show you the um, it will show you the uh, CSS style sheet. So, anyway, uh, that's the uh, those are some of the tools I use uh, with Firefox uh, to repair your website. Uh, this is a, a great uh, tool. You use it um, as much as you can. And I hope that helps. Again, um, uh, a in the description below, I'll provide a link to Firebug. And then Chrome, you can just type in Google Chrome and download it from uh, Google.